Okay, breathe in. And breathe out. Lovely. I'm just going to do a little bit gentle acupressure on the upper traps, the top of the shoulder region. That helps to release shoulder tension if you have any. Again, it's all connected, shoulder, neck, head, as we all know. There are so many little acupressure points on auricular ear as well, which helps again for anxiety, worry, stress. And I love gently tapping. Some people call this uh, raindrops. Some people call this butterfly touch. Both beautiful. Wonderful. Yes, we can start for this beautiful um, treatment called Indian Head Massage. My name is Mustafa Baigan. I am a massage therapist based in central London. And today um, we're doing Indian Head Massage for lovely Melissa, which she looks already relaxed. <laughs> this wonderful treatment provides wonderful benefit to our health and well-being including relaxation, stress-free. I'm going to start with, uh, normally, typically, how I work with my uh, existing clients and new clients. I start with gently uh, grounding, which is gently touching the body, so it helps the receiver to calm, relax, and grounding. And then I start uh, my treatment uh, following the principles uh, sequences of traditional Indian head massage which is that's how I'm going to do now and I would like to ask lovely Melissa when you're ready to deeply breathe in breathe out and do this three times in your own time yeah just let it go whatever is in your head mind just Enjoy. Beautiful. Typically, Indian head massage covers not only head, but neck, shoulder, and arms, there are uh, specific acupressure points that gently, it doesn't have to be firm pressure or anything, depending on receiver's um, tolerance, just gently applying pressure to release any tension from the body. And starting with holding technique with the occipital ridge, holding the skull, all, all these neck muscles attach the base of the skull, which is occipital ridge, just gently holding and letting body to relax and calm down. This is very relaxing actually, both for receiver and the therapist, the giver as well. It's a win-win situation. Gently starting with brushing, stroking Melissa's beautiful hair. They are so nice to massage. The perfect hair for Indian head massage. Wonderful.
I start with head and as I said, massaging, brushing, stroking hair, which helps follicle to bring blood flow into the area. It helps for any muscle tension or stress or anything. It's highly, highly beneficial. And it's also good for hair as well, not just psychological aspect, but mental benefits is tremendous as well. I will work on face as well, but I start with, as I said, with neck and head specifically. And this is just a nice and the circular motion on the head. I start with temple all the way out, forehead towards the back of the head. How is the pressure, Melissa? So nice, thank you. I'm already getting sleepy. Fantastic. If there is anything that you wish to ask, feel free. Thank you. There is the pulling technique as well. But I'm not going to pull to, not to hurt obviously, but gently grabbing and just pulling. How does it feel? Nice. Feels okay, huh? It might look not very comfortable when I'm pulling like that the hair, but actually it's not. It feels quite, like Melissa said, it's, it feels quite Relaxing, nice. This is a stimulating, as you can see, I speed up my pressure and the movement as I would like to stimulate and bring the blood flow into the area that I'm working. You can be gently turn your head around so we can work on the side of the head. especially the base of the occipital ridge here, where the neck muscles attach to between shoulder to the base of the occipital ridge. When you brush this particular area, it's so good. It also helps to release neck tension or head tension you might have. And it bring, brings blood flow into the area, the tissue, which helps for oxygenation, circulation, and it releases all the remaining tension from the body.
the mind. It feels so nice always brushing. You do some technique, acupressure or a stimulation, and then finish off with gently brushing. It's just so nice and soothing. And we can turn the other side as well. Same principle that we can do apply on this side left side again face of the psychology especially with my gently knuckling And again, as, as I mentioned before, in terms of pressure, or in the, in the massage, depending on individual um, needs, some people find extremely gentle pressure is very effective. Some people prefer very firm pressure. There is nothing wrong or right. It's whichever suits you. Always, I ask my clients, for the treatment, how they prefer. Is pressure okay, this level of pressure, Melissa, yeah? yeah nice. Lovely. The hair brushing feels so nice. This feels so nice, yeah, right? it's really relaxing. I think it's a wonderful combination between uh, stimulating and same time uh, calming approach like hair brushing and then mixing with acupressure gently like this. How do you find acupressure when I'm applying? Yeah, I really like. You look visibly relaxed. <laughs> Lovely. And benefit of Indian head massage, not just, of course, it's relaxing and calming, but it's also uh, the study is showing that it's really effective 
people who may go through migraine or headache or any kind of a stress-related um, stubborn tension. Some people even find beneficial if they have any kind of digestive problem because it's directly related, it connects with head and body. Every single organ in our organs in our body actually is connected. We can't separate from one organ, one part from the another. When our mind calm, clear, and centered directly affects our digestive system as well, so vice versa, you know, it's so connected. Simply because of our nervous system. When we're in a relaxed state, our parasympathetic, which is quite relaxing state, is in place. But when we stress, or worried, or anxious, Sympathetic nervous system is alert, which is we're always in the edge. So, any alternative therapy like beautiful Indian massage, it helps to calm down body, mind, and spirit. Now I'm going to use oil to work on your beautiful face with a little bit of acupressure and your lovely face as well. Is it okay to work on your ear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. lovely acupressure yeah. points. Okay, breathe in. And breathe out. Lovely. This is one of the important points called third eye, in the middle of the eyebrow. This really helps to provide a sense of clarity. beginning of the wonderful eyebrow points is very good acupressure like point for stress yeah. without hurting obviously just gently pinching and releasing you can apply gently acupressure like and you can do it to yourself as well and releasing just gently this is fantastic and pressure points to release any tension. And around the, along the eyebrow, we can start from the starting point of the eyebrow. All the videos, all the way up. 
Verbesserung der Eifer. Especially if you deskbound that people like most of us these days, either on social media or just work related, deskbound that we are, this wonderful acupressure points around eyebrow, as I mentioned earlier on, and nose, forehead temple is a wonderful area to release all tension from looking at from the screen it can get really really we get um, stressed or lose our concentration so this helps to really bring back our clarity and concentration it's a wonderful point in the face. A round temple area, another very effective area to release any tension. Just Repeating about four or five times clockwise. I can do, I can alternate left and then right, or I can at the same time left and right fingers around temple. Wonderful area. Also wonderful circular motions. And now in the forehead, I can interlock my hands and do the same thing, same movement in the clockwise. The starting forehand, and then all the way top of the head Ears quite um, effective organs as well as work. It may look um, uncomfortable, but it's actually not. How does it feel my pressure when I'm uh, pinching your ear? Does it feel okay? It's okay. Yeah, yeah. There are so many little acupressure points on auricular ear as well which helps again for anxiety worry stress especially 
pinching, releasing. This is another technique. It helps to release, as I said. And you can do it to yourself as well, like hold. It brings fresh blood into the area which is your hearing. Uh, that's better after this too. For example, if you experience any kind of ear um, discomfort or wheezy, wheeziness in the ear, by gently holding and releasing ear lobes, like it doesn't matter from bottom to top of the ear or the, from top to bottom, it really helps to release that. I'm just going to do a little bit gentle acupressure on the upper traps, the top of the shoulder region. That helps to release shoulder tension if you have any. Again, it's all connected, shoulder, neck, head, as we all know. Gently breathe in for me, Melissa, and breathe out, please. Beautiful. And one more time. Excellent. That's okay. Let's do on the left side as well. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time. And breathe out. As I mentioned at the beginning of this session, Indian head massage covers not only head, but the face, neck, shoulder, and arms. It's a highly holistic approach, obviously helps individual to heal.
phrase, finish, let's start with that, finish with hat. Hopefully you're going to sleep well tonight after this relaxing session. It's a frequently asked question about Indian head massage. Where how often uh, it, I should get Indian head massage? It, um, uh, you can get. Uh, depend if it's just for stress release and relaxation. Ideally, once or every fortnight to have Indian head massage. It's beneficial if it's pain relief for migraine uh, or headache or neck and shoulder pain if it's anything specific to relieve pain um, it's recommendable at least two sessions in one week mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to get any head massage every day you need yeah. to allow it at least 72 hours after a session to uh, help body oh, okay. yeah because after the especially i feel applying some uh, massage on the neck and shoulder area it just needs a couple of days to shift from the session but typically every fortnight having an indian head massage for general health and well-being is recommendable and highly beneficial this beautiful unique treatment And it's always nice to close to finish this session with a couple of breathing helps person be grounded. Okay, well, when you're ready, deeply breathe in, slowly breathe out. Beautiful. And one more time. Uh, 
and I love gently tapping. Some people call this uh, raindrops, some people call this butterfly touch, both beautiful. It helps nervous system to wake up after this beautiful relaxing session. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. My pleasure.